بركتي هوا بركتي هوا شاي باشم رخا خوداش طبعا it's the apostles bishops and elders a great millstone and shalom to the elect that's who these lessons are for north korea threatened with maximized response to next nuke test now we know that uh kim jong-un and uh north korea have been testing their nuclear missiles steadily which is a show of force you know um like the scriptures say, let the weak say I'm strong. You know, at one point it was America and Russia as, you know, the uh, the two leading world powers. You know, that's what the whole Cold War was about. But now the Heavenly Father has the great equalizer, the nuclear missiles, you know, even with these smaller nations. So that it's a, it's an act of of power. It's a it's a uh, you know a flex, if you will. All right. So it reads: A top South Korean security advisor says Washington and Tokyo uh, have agreed to a different response compared to previous tests. The United States and South or the United States, South Korea, and Japan have vowed to maximize their response to North Korea's next nuclear test, according to a senior security official in Seoul, amid repeated predictions that Pyongyang is preparing for another trial. Speaking to reporters following a high-level meeting between Seoul, Washington, and Tokyo on Thursday, South Korea's top security advisor, Kim Soo-hang, said another North Korean nuclear test would prompt a stern reaction from the three allies. All right. And this is a quote. We agreed that there must not be uh, naive thinking or reaction that North Korea has conducted six nuclear tests and that a new test will only be one more. Quote, he said, adding uh, should North Korea conduct its seventh nuclear test, our reaction will certainly be different from those uh, until now. And uh, that's pretty much all I got to read on that. I'll leave this uh, in the description box for you brothers that want to check it out. This is another article down here. It says, read more. North Korea plans to uh, deal a blow to Biden. All right. And you see a, a nuclear missile, you know, which is that that glittering spear, you know, that Job spoke about. All right. This is the uh, the serpent, you know, this uh, this fiery flying serpent that uh, the scriptures speak about, man. And it's the instrument the Lord's going to use to destroy this place. But, um, you know, there's many different scriptures, you know, you could definitely go into. But uh, right now, I'm going to go to Joel, the third chapter, the ninth verse. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, which the Gentiles are talking about the other nations. Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Now, right now, we, you know, everybody's preparing for, you know, Labor Day weekend, a so-called holiday season or holiday weekend. But guess what? Steadily, these prophecies are coming to pass, man. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Uh, and the brothers in this truth. Eyes are wide open to it. <clears throat> this is the scripture I want right here. Um, I think it's right here. There you go. This is uh First Thessalonians five and three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, and travail as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right. So in the midst of of people, you know, in a jovial spirit. The Heavenly Father is going to strike suddenly. Similar to the 9-11 effect. 
Okay? That was just another day. And I remember that day. That was just another day. Everything was so-called business as usual. And all of a sudden, 9-11 happened. Okay? The scripture says right there, Then suddenly, then, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. All right? So something that's sudden meaning it happens like a thief in the night. <clears throat> it says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. So these are things that we constantly speak on. You know, we're um, reiterating because when you go into the Bible, the heavenly father is repetitious. So we being the mouthpiece of the heavenly father, we have that same repetition. All right. We're going to keep on, you know, uh, uh, with this same gospel until the prophecy come to pass, man, you know, and, and this, this, uh, this spirit of prophecy is a, um, how you call it? It's a spiritual, you know, we're doing spiritual demolition on this place, man, because that vibration being pushed out throughout the four corners of the earth, similar to during the time of the walls of Jericho, you know, eventually this place is going to collapse, man. This place is going to fall, man. And we've been saying that America is going to be destroyed by the way of nuclear missiles. Because why? Because it's all throughout the Bible. And, you know, if you are not asleep, then you'd be able to see that the proliferation of nuclear missiles is for the prophecy to come to pass. It reads, But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of the of light. Now that's only talking about the brothers in this truth, the Israelites in this truth, and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us walk and be sober. Now that don't mean, you know, you can't take a sip of a wine or you know some kind of strong drink. Okay, should just the other night I had some. Hennessy Mai Tais, you know, that means that, you know, you stay in the spirit and also not deal with these different philosophies, man. OK, hey, because all these philosophies, you know, <clears throat> are, are strongholds of Satan. All right. These different philosophies are strongholds of Satan. Only in this truth, you know, are you sober? It says for they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. So what is it saying about these people? These people are in darkness, man. All right? Because these people don't know what the hell is coming. You know? They're in darkness. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. Now, faith is what keeps us going, man. And that's, that's a gift from the Heavenly Father. You know? It reads, and of Salaka, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. And that's what we have on, man. You see what I'm saying? Because sooner or later, these prophecies are going to come to pass. And those who are of the elect are the only ones that are going to be able to be saved, man. So we're hoping like hell, you know, for salvation when this place, you know, ultimately collapses. So in the next upcoming weeks, we're going to see what happens. But, you know, ultimately, we know the prophecies, you know, of, of the Bible will come to pass. You know, this is Ezekiel 33 and 33. One of my favorite scriptures, it reads, and when this cometh to pass, that's talking about the prophecy, man. You know, because some people sometimes still look at us like we got, you know, three heads or something like that. When we tell you that America is going to be destroyed, it says, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. You know, that time is going to come where, you know, people are going to realize, wait a minute. These guys have been right the whole time. GMS had it right the whole time, beginning with the apostles, you know, bishops, elders of Great Millstone. We had it right the whole time. You know. Now you got uh, the IUIC. I saw um a uh 
an image saying that they're the vanguard. No, you're not the vanguard. All right. You're not the vanguards. OK. Hey, because first of all, you're not teaching these people, these Israelites, the uh, the true name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, you're teaching them falsehoods, which ultimately is going to lead them to this, to their destruction. And you go into the book of Jeremiah. Uh, I think it's the 23rd chapter. Let me see. Yeah, let me blow the dust off this one. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. So the time is going to come where these false Israelites are going to be getting judged, man. Well, shit, when you go to Ezekiel 9 and 4, when you read down, it tells you, and begin at the ancient men in my house. Let me hold this right fast. Go to Ezekiel 9. Scroll down. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. All right. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord saith unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Now, we know this word mark right here is from the uh, Hebrew Tawa, which means to be exempt from judgment. I'm going to just pull it up right fast. Oh, ch -ch 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 a mark so boom thawa all right it says mark as a sign of exempt exemption from judgment so that's the mark that the men of the elect have you know you see what i'm saying blessed is the man in whom the most high imputed not iniquity all right so it says here and to the others he said in mine saying in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. So a lot of death is coming, all right? Pretty much that's gonna be the time of the uh the pale horse. When you read in um Revelation the sixth chapter about those horses. Now that red horse already went out, that was Esau. Now we actually living in the time of the black horse with the balances in its hands. That's why you have this economic, <clears throat> you know, uh, downfall of America where you have, uh, you know, super hyperinflation coming, gas prices, so on and so forth. We living in the time of that black horse. Now, soon you're going to see that pale horse which that represents the spirit of death. The spirit of death is going to take hold of America, is going to take hold of this society. And there will be many casualties. And then it tells you about the white horse, you know, which that white horse is representing the uh, the chariots, you know, the glory of the Heavenly Father, you know, them chariots, you know, traveling in the greatness of his strength, you know, uh, White representing purity and a horse representing power, that pure power, man, which is going to come into the society, you know, shooting out laser beams, destroying the wicked and burning this place up. All right. It says. Uh, and begin at the at my sanctuary, then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So you guys that, you know, are calling yourselves Israelites, Yohanna, you supposed to be in this thing for many years. Uh, Nate, you supposed to be in this thing for many years. And you guys are preaching them, them falsehoods. Guess what? The angels of the Lord, you know, are going to jack your asses up, man. That time is going to come, you know. So let's go back to Jeremiah 23. Um. It says, this is what the Lord said. Uh, matter of fact, let me start back at two. Therefore, thus said the Lord, power of Israel against the pastors 
that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. How so? Now you might say, oh, how do they, how do they scatter us and drive us away when they here with us the whole time? Because they're not teaching you, you know, the right things, man. They're not teaching you the true name of the Most High, which is Yahweh, and his son's name, Yahweh Shai. They're teaching you falsehoods, all right? And you trusted in those falsehoods, man. They making mockery of the name of the Heavenly Father. All right. They not preparing you for the time to come. They not really building you up, man. All right. The true leaders of the nation of Israel are the apostles, elders, the bishops and elders of Great Millstone and the brothers of Great Millstone. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It reads, and driven them away. And have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord. So that time is going to come. It reads, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries. And that's why through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Great Millstone is the, is the only camp that, you know, has... Uh, different camps throughout the uh, uh, four corners of the earth and we ain't never had to go down there and set no camp up man because the spirit of the lord you know gathered them brothers man all right it says and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase and that time is coming man you know, the Heavenly Father is already, you know, bringing us back, you know, spiritually to this understanding. But soon we're going to have it, you know, physically when we get the kingdom, man. We're going to have our slaves, so on and so forth. We're going to have our castles, our wives, you know, multiple children. You know, these are things that are coming, man. Lord, will this lesson was edifying, giving all praises to you. How about Shemel Shai? Shalom.